welcome again to Bake Your Way Kitchen. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a tomato soup. A nice, fresh tomato soup, great for the summer, great, quite frankly, all year round. It's just a great, great, delicious recipe, and it's so easy to make. Um, so I'm just going to show you what you need to get started. So what I've got here is a large saucepan, and I've got about three, two, two to three tablespoons of oil. And we are going to... Um, uh, preheat the oil and put the onions in in a bit. But before I get to that, let's get to the tomatoes. Yes, for this soup we are using fresh tomatoes. So you'll probably need about two pounds worth and I've got a mixture of things here. So I've got regular tomatoes, I think I've got two or three here, and I, then I've got about 200 grams of cherry tomatoes. And basically I put a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of vinegar uh, and it really brings out that tomato flavor. You'll need to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees and then um, and then and then cut your tomatoes accordingly. Um, if they're cherry tomatoes, obviously you don't need to cut them. And they're going to go into the oven, which I will do right now, for about I would say probably about 20 minutes. So I'm going to put this in. Sorry, just want to make sure that goes in properly. All right, so now, in the meantime, I've got my oil here, as I mentioned. I'm going to go over to the stove preheat the oil, then add in the onions and let them uh, saute till the till they start to sweat out a bit and I'll show you the next step. The onions, they've caramelized, they, they've really sweated out. You can see usually when they're really glossy, that's a really good indicator. So now what we're going to do is add in our garlic. You want to put it near the end of the major, um, like when you're cooking over high heat, your your onions because you don't want the garlic. Garlic has a tendency to burn, so you really want to make, avoid that. So you want to give this a mix for 20-30 seconds just so that garlic kind of gets infused a little bit. So now we're going to be adding in a few additional ingredients and uh, I will show you that right now. The first thing I'm going to add is about um, one and a half cups of stock. Now you could use chicken stock. I'm using vegetable stock to keep this vegetarian. I'm also going to add in some peeled tomatoes. This is a 28 fluid ounce, 796 milliliters can. So you want to get this in. This wouldn't fully open, so I'm kind of doing this on its side. So you want to give this a little bit of a mix. We want to give this a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, and uh, if your uh, roasted tomatoes are out of the oven, if it's been 20 minutes, 25 minutes, then just leave them on the side. We'll use them in a bit. I'll add a little bit more salt. I didn't really add a lot. There we go. So we're going to give this a quick mix. And one thing I'm going to do, I always do with the canned tomatoes, I'm just going to, I always take a little bit of water to get out all those tomato juices. They're perfectly good. There we go. So now we're going to um, let this come up to a boil. Once it's come up to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat and cover it for about 10 or 15 minutes. And this will allow um, some of the excess uh, liquid to evaporate. And at that point, um, we will put in the roasted tomatoes, but I'll show you first what that looks like um, when it comes to the boil and then when um, and then after it's been covered. So I'll be back in just a second. It's come to a boil, so now what we're going to do is reduce the heat and I'm also going to add in some fresh basil leaves. If you don't have fresh basil leaves, first of all you can use sweet, Italian, red, whatever it is you want. I'm using about um, a third of a cup. You could use more or less. Um, I actually am growing basil outside in uh, the garden and so it smells phenomenal. I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on fresh basil, it really will take this soup from here to way up here. And one of the great things about this tomato soup that we're making, it's quite, um, it's perfect for even like a sauce for like spaghetti or something. So um, I'm going to have a baked uh, pasta video coming up and you can easily use this recipe as a substitute. Anyway, I'm just going to cover this now and it's on medium. So we're going to let this um, simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes 
and you'll notice it will thicken up a bit and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so as you can see, I'll try to show you, our tomatoes have been simmering for quite a while. Um, there's been some um, liquid that's evaporated, but it's there's still going to be some. Now my tomatoes are ready. I've got my tomatoes here and I'm just going to add them in. Whoops, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly get this all mixed together. First of all, we are going to continue over medium heat. If it's on low, you can bring it up to medium. And we're going to let this cook. You can either do it covered or uncovered. If you feel like it's very runny, you can um, cover it if you prefer. For about 5 or 10 minutes, just so that it comes up to a bit of a simmer. And then we are going to go ahead and use the immersion blender. Now, just before we get there, I just want to be careful. If you're using an immersion blender, be very careful. Make sure you have high sides because if you're not careful, it could splatter everywhere. And the absolute worst thing in the world is when tomatoes splatter all over your kitchen. It's a mess and it's, it's such a disaster. So try to avoid that. So I'm going to go off camera, but I'll be back when we um, blend it all together. So I've let that cook for a little while. Um, I covered it and it's looking great. It's thickened up a bit. It's got an amazing tomato smell. Now, here's the thing. Normally, actually there's a few options. Normally you can, um, you could either just blend this as is or you could go and nitpick out the basil leaves. I personally don't mind the basil leaves left in. It's up to you. You can take them out if you want. I'm going to leave mine in. So, this is the part we need to be very careful about, and I am just praying to God that this doesn't go everywhere. So basically, you take your immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a food processor. And we're going to slowly go like this, just around. And as you do more, you can uh, mix it longer. But just for the beginning, be careful. And you just want to keep mixing around. It'll take a few minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Pureed through. Now if you really want a nice smooth cream of tomato soup, uh, or tomato soup, you can um, put it through a sieve. And I don't usually do that because I don't mind if it's a little grainy, but some people are very sensitive with the seeds. Um, and if that's you, that's absolutely fine. You can just take the extra time to strain it uh, to make sure you get all of that out if you don't want it. But the final step, I've, pre I've heated this up a little bit. I'm adding in about a tablespoon or so of Parmesan. You could add a little more, a little less, depending on what you want. Now you could add about, um, you could add a little bit of whipping cream, but what I'm going to do is add a couple tablespoons of butter and a little dash of milk. And this will make it a little bit creamy. There we go. There we go. Now once you've mixed this in, we are going to adjust it for seasoning. So I'm going to um, take a taste. Alright, let's see how it's like. Oh, it's hot. Mmm, that is very good. That is very good. It's got, um, it's so, uh, it's got this nice tomato flavor, and I'm telling you, using real tomatoes, using good canned tomatoes, um, using very good ingredients will make a huge difference. I am, though, going to add a little bit more salt, and I'm probably going to add a little bit more pepper, and I think that's going to be perfect. So what do you do now? Well, it's up to you. You can serve it as is, um, or you can serve it with some crunchy bread or with croutons. You can make this with a pasta dish. It's really up to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.